Education is the primary focus area of the Hindu American Foundation. And this is important because what people learn about Hinduism and Hindu issues in textbooks and educational material, uh, in college uh, classrooms, and also more broadly in the public sphere, newspapers and other things, will shape what people think about us. And if they don't understand us correctly, they're going to fear us, they're going to hate us, they're going to discriminate against us. AP Human Geography was a course I was taking. We are learning about Hinduism. And I read the textbook um, and was not impressed by what they were teaching. Uh, it was wrong. It was, it was all misconceptions. Um, they never really went in depth on certain issues, so it was very superficial. Uh, sixth and seventh graders are very vulnerable, and when you add the fact that these are minority children, both based on their religious affiliation as well as their ethnic identity, they're very prone to being bullied, harassed in the classroom, um, being subjected to stereotypical views about Hinduism, and being made to feel isolated and ashamed of their heritage. And so HAF has launched a brand new bullying report that really documents some of these concerns and links textbook content directly to the impact of bullying of Hindu students in the classroom across the country. So what is HF's focus in this area? We want to make sure that what's taught about who you are is accurate and correct. The Hindu American Foundation's Hinduism 101 program is really the heart of HAF's educational efforts. It's an academically vetted, balanced and culturally competent program in which we educate Americans at large and especially public school students about Hinduism. Foreign policy is a major area of work for the Hindu American Foundation and the reason we should care is that someday these issues could be affecting us. As one of the richest wealthiest communities, not just in America, but in the history of the world, Hindu Americans have a duty, I would say, to help people in need. The Hindus we're talking about are very poor, often illiterate, unempowered Hindu minorities. If we can't help these people, who will? HAF is the only voice for Hindu Americans really globally uh, that talks about human rights concerns in a systematic and a comprehensive manner. No other organization, no other group discusses or details the human rights concerns of Hindu minorities in countries ranging from Pakistan, Bangladesh, Malaysia, all the way down to Sri Lanka. And so HF plays a pivotal role in educating policymakers about these human rights concerns, making sure that the issues that are affecting Hindus globally are on our agenda as a U.S. government, uh, as the U.S. government forms policy and develops bilateral relations with multiple countries around the world. Well, every year HF hosts its annual DC Advocacy Days, which is our preeminent event in Washington, DC, where we bring delegates from across the country to meet with representatives to talk about the important issues that affect Hindu Americans every day. And this year, HF held its inaugural policy conference, which was really an opportunity to not just have delegates hear from HAF members, but also from the preeminent policy experts in their fields. Some people in the Hindu community don't see the value of interfaith. They think that it's dominated by other religions. They may not think that they have an easy seat at the table. And I tell them to keep on trying to, to make a seat at the table if there isn't one for you. Interfaith dialogue is something that started when Swami Vivekananda came here in 1893 to the World Parliament of Religions. And the thing that he and we today even speak about is the need for pluralism. And what that means is really inserting the Hindu concept that we are one human family, Vasudaiva Kutumbakam, into the dialogue. Hindus have something very important to offer the world. It's a vision of one world united. It's a vision of one God in many names. I support HUF because the issues taken up by HUF are uh, very close to my heart and I relate to them. I support HAF because after 45 years of being affiliated with Hindu Dharma, it's giving me the opportunity to give back. I support HAF because I have three small children and the work that HAF does for the image of Hinduism in the community is very important to me.